Bradford City Schools will now reopen Monday, reversing a decision to go 100% virtual for two weeks. 10 News reporter Annie Schroeder spoke to the superintendent about a concern over rising coronavirus cases and why they changed their initial plan. A quick transition to online learning. And we just determined that it would be, you know, out of an abundance of caution to go ahead and and just closed temporarily. As the number of COVID-19 cases in the city of Radford continues to grow, Radford City Schools canceled in-person classes for the remainder of the week. Superintendent Robert Graham says the division was notified about a large gathering in the city over the weekend that students, teachers, and parents attended and were potentially exposed to coronavirus. When you have those large gatherings of over 40 or 50, it's just difficult to, to know who's at risk and that's what we were concerned with and we certainly didn't want to uh, to take a chance. The Virginia Department of Health launched an investigation including contact tracing and only found minimal exposure allowing city schools to reopen Monday. But for parents like Charlotte Parks it leaves questions about the remainder of the school year. My worry is that they won't go back um, that it's this is kind of going to be the permanent way of the rest of the school year. The New York Times is now calling Radford a hotspot for most new COVID-19 cases compared to its population. Parks hopes people in the city use the school's closing as an example of why people need to be more careful. What's best for the community is definitely you know what we need to be focused on, but I'm hoping that we can all kind of buckle down and uh, get to a place where these kids can get back to school. Graham says the division will continue to monitor the cases throughout the school year. He looks forward to welcoming students back to class on Monday. We learn from it and, and then we move forward. In Radford, Annie Schroeder, 10 News, working for you.